Major repairs underway at one of the Bay Area's coolest scientific hubs. You may remember the stormy Christmas weather ripped a piece off the dome at the Lick Observatory. Well, Brian Hackney got an inside look at the repairs and how the observatory team was able to protect the rest of the dome from the ensuing downpours. When the Bay Area woke up on a stormy Christmas morning, Astronomers woke up to this. A 116 mile an hour wind gust at Lick Observatory ripped off a five ton chunk of the dome. And I was just, I, I, I just, I was dumbfounded. Engineers were left scrambling to pick up the 10,000 pound pieces outside and inside, scrambled to protect one of the Bay Area's scientific jewels from the unrelenting rain. I'm Eleanor Gates and I am one of the resident astronomers here at Lick Observatory and we are going up to take a look at the damage and the uh, repair work. The domes atop the observatory are supposed to look like this. The shutter doors protecting the priceless telescopes inside. But one door is now lying in the parking lot. So this is the dome for the 36 inch refractor and this here is the dome shutter door that was blown off the dome during the storm on Christmas morning. It really took quite a bit of damage. So did the roof when 10,000 pounds of shutter landed on it, snapping the ceiling joists inside. The telescope, thank goodness, did not suffer any damage. This is another place. So it's obviously a big, unusual, and expensive repair job. As for how long it's going to take, well... We don't actually know how long it's going to take to fix. A hard hat for you. So how are they going to protect that telescope? So the actual damage is at the south end of the building where the 36-inch telescope dome is. Do you remember the first time you showed me this telescope? Oh, gosh, that was so long ago. 2007, actually, when Eleanor first showed us this historic scope. How much does this weigh? On the order of uh, 14 tons. But it is so delicately balanced. It is balanced. delicately balanced, and, and you so just, you just move it. But it works. It definitely works. Pinnacle of technology for the 1880s. It's a precious piece of historic equipment. So we're headed up to the mezzanine level so that you get a really good look at the telescope and what we've done to protect the telescope from the weather. You put a huge tarp on it. An enormous tarp. Unfortunately, the dome is still open to the elements. Uh, we had contractors come in that specialize in mitigating water damage, and they built this enormous tent to catch the water coming through the slit. So if it started to rain right now, we would have to rely on this tarp. So far, it's done the job in the pouring rain. So this is the biggest telescope on Mount Hamilton. And the rest of the observatory complex is at least unscathed. It could have been a whole lot worse. We have been continuing our research as normal. So that at least is the good news of this whole situation. We're hoping that within the next four to six days that we can get this closed up and protected so that we can now focus on the longer term plan of the actual repair. The Lick Observatory is asking for help funding these repairs. You can donate on the Lick Observatory website.